So we're gonna go ahead and go through some questions to figure out what it is that you need. Cool. Go ahead and tell me what vehicle you drive. Uh, 2011 Trail Edition 4Runner. The base for the 4Runner right here that would fit into your vehicle. Do you know how many objects you want to mount? Uh, right now, just my phone and my radio. Okay, so is your radio a handheld or is it a CB? It's a handheld. This guy right here. All right, so we have a couple of different clamp options for your phone. Uh, we have the Diablo, which is a magnetic clamp. You just put this back around your phone and stick it right on there. We have the standard clamp. Go ahead and try that if you want. There you go. Definitely will hold it in there again. Yeah, looks like it will fit. Then we also have the MagSafe, which is a magnet, but if you wirely charge, it's safe for wirely charging. I don't know if you wirely charge or not. No, I usually plug in to charge. Okay. So those are our phone clamp options. You can have up to seven items on your grid if you needed to. You just need to purchase balls for each item and then arms and then whatever accessories you want to hold. Do you want a phone clamp and a radio? Yeah, I'll probably do this clip as well because my son will be with me a lot. And okay. then he can so you want device. two phone mounts and one handheld radio? Yes. Okay. Um, and if I were to want to add a GoPro on there, what would I need to do that? Just this piece right here? Um, you would just need a ball, and then the GoPro mount mounts to the ball. Yep. Easy enough. All right. So we have a couple different arm length options for you. The seven centimeter is our standard. So we have a mini arm. We do have a four, but we don't have any of those in stock. Generally, most vehicles use the seven. Uh, sometimes with the Toyotas, it's a little bit different, so we just need to go over to your vehicle and see how it fits. Okay. Oh, nice. So I was I was wondering about that. That kind of cover. Yeah. So once we get it installed, your mount's gonna go up over here like this, and then your arms are gonna extend out. And you can mix and match your lengths. Just need to decide what you prefer. My passenger, I'd probably put the longer one on. I don't know how close you like your phone when you're driving. Probably the short one. The short one. Yeah. And then your handheld. That's going to hang down a little bit, so I might use this. I might use the 7 for the handheld. So do like the 7-7 seven, seven and then the mini for yours. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get this installed, but first we're going to go through the tools that we use to install it. Uh, if you look out here, I've got my tools and I've got the tools that come with the kit. I'm going to go ahead and just use my tools because I'm used to them and they're already dirty. So in your kit, you'll receive the screws to mount your base. The long ones are for the top of the plastic and the short ones are for the side. You'll get a wrench and a screwdriver, plastic trim remover, a couple of drill bits to drill your holes. This little guy is called our effort tool. Well, quite often we get questions about what this is, and this is to tighten down and to loosen your arms when you get them into place. And then this guy right here is a little bottle opener, uh, so you can drink your beverage of choice, compliments of bullet point, when you're done. All right, if you want, you can dimple the top. I'll hold it for you. So what you're wanting to do is to run that down and poke it into that hole and create a dimple. That's gonna be our drill mark. There you go. All right, other side. All right, beautiful. Now I'll go ahead and mark my marker on the side here. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the first two plastics in your trim. And they should just pop right off. All right, your turn. So there's like a little side. lip right in here. Yep, it's starting to come. The next we're going to go ahead and remove your piece that has your knobs on it. Uh, it's just clipped in so it should just pull out. Oh man, that was easier than I thought. Right? Don't worry about disconnecting the electrical. So we'll just let it sit down there. We're going to go ahead and remove these four bolts.
right, so now that we've got the four bolts removed, we're gonna go ahead and pull this out. It just snaps right out. That was pretty easy. And then um, we're gonna have to disconnect the electrical on the back, but first we're gonna grab a quick pick so we can make sure we get everything hooked back up the way it goes. But probably way smoother if you have two sets of hands. There we go. Winning. Winning. All right, so now we're gonna take it over and drill some bolts. Next step is going to be removing the vents. I've already moved the driver's side. I'm going to show you the passenger. It's exactly the same. You got these little tabs down here. Right here, you literally just rack the tab out. Get a little side pressure and lift up. And then you come up to the top. There's a little tab right there. A little side pressure and out. Good to go. So we went ahead and dropped in our four bolts to mount the bracket. And then we're gonna just go ahead and tighten them up. So now we go ahead and put these vents back in. I should just snap right in. I don't know why bad eyes manned it. <laughs> Here we go. So you have a left and a right, and they just snap in real easily. You just gotta line the clips up with the... How do I know which side goes on what? They're labeled. Left oh. hand and right hand. Okay. There we go. Sweet. She's got the magnet. Where's the GoPro at? It's oh, on it's there. on there. Okay. <laughs> I'm a blonde. <laughs> and I'm stubborn. I don't want to pull it all the way apart. <laughs> and I'm going to put this guy on. Cool. Peace. Thank you. Thank you. Don't make it crooked. <laughs> <laughs> nice. There you go. Way better. That's great. Now you got all the accessories. Nice. Yeah, I love it. Thanks, guys. Yeah. So now that we're all installed, what are uh, your final thoughts about installation, the product, etc.? Um, the installation is definitely a little bit more difficult than the Jeep install. Um, it's not unmanageable by any means. Um, probably took us about an hour. Somebody who's normally in the garage or handy could probably do it in half that time. What do you think? I think definitely half an hour if they're really handy, but I think having two people to help like hold the unit while it's being screwed on and stuff. I think that was probably beneficial was nice. to have an extra yeah. set of hands. Yeah. But it looks super awesome up there. It's gonna be yeah, nice. it looks really good. Yeah. All right. All right. So if you want to purchase anything from Bullet Point, um, you go onto the website, use the code Discover More, and you'll save fifteen percent.